Hello, everybody. Welcome to Fruitful Trees. And it is that time of year. We're getting ready for mango season. And there's a bunch of baby mangoes on this tree. I'm so excited uh, for this. And I finally, uh, this is my first season where I have my well hooked up in mango land here. And many of the trees, the water is on now. And what I've heard from Alex at Tropical Acres is you want to turn the water on mango trees uh, when they get to the baby size fruit and they get uh, and they start growing on a tree and what that does it'll help up to 25 percent of the mangoes not fall off the tree that normally would have if it wasn't getting any water however it is a little tricky with mangoes because mangoes if you water them you can water them and and kind of run out the flavor that could happen only naturally by the rain also uh, so you got to be careful how much water is getting on those mangoes. Have you ever tasted a mango that everyone said it was amazing, amazing variety, and then you taste it and it just wasn't good? Chances are the tree got too much water. So the question of should we water our mangoes or not is is a uh, intriguing one. And I was not going to water my trees and not put a well here, but I finally did. I have other some other trees. Uh, dispersed within my mango trees. So that kind of ultimately led to my decision of getting water here. But I turned the water on the mango trees now and I will shut them. I'm only going to leave them on for, oh, maybe a month, a month and a half uh, during this time so the mangoes won't drop off the tree and see how that is. But recently, the Fruitful Five, myself, Alex from Tropical Acres Farms, my friend Bobby, who's growing so many exotic fruits, Laura from Laura Farms, uh, also Tom, uh, from Sleepy Lizard Avocado Farm, but he wasn't there this time. And we were at Truly Tropical with uh, Chris, and Chris has a big mango farm, and she doesn't water her trees at all. Where Alex at Tropical Acres Farms, he waters his mango trees only for a month and a month and a, or a month and a half when the mangoes are a particular size. So. Should we or should we not water mango trees? Well, while I had them all together, because Laura, Julian Laura uh, from Laura Farms, he has a tremendous amount of mango trees as well. Bobby has a tremendous amount of mango trees. So when we all got together, I had to ask them the question. Why does Chris not water them? Why does Alex does? And what does everyone think about watering the trees? So for my viewers here, I'm going to share that video now of the Fruitful Five talking about watering mango trees and let's see what they all have to say here we go so this, this side of the grove is not as um, uh, like uh what do we call it um uh like meticulously planted spaced kind of thing this was um uh, this whole side used to be uh, citrus and so it was a matter of um, when we first started we had to you know, of course take out all the citrus because of the greening and and uh canker um, but uh, it was planting in between the, the stumps of the uh, citrus trees and that kind of thing. And so the spacing is irregular. Was this, was this originally a citrus farm? Uh, it was, um, they had uh, big Hayden trees all along the, uh, the street here. These, uh, all of them. Outside uh, of the street? No, right here. Oh, okay. I, the they were like four times as tall at least. And uh, of course, you know, I had to cut them back because, you know, it's impossible to pick the fruit safely when it's that tall. And then also Hurricane Wilma yeah, did a, quite a number on it. Um, we had uh, the entire street out there was covered with our branches from the, you know, the tall trees. Uh, so that happened before we cut them back even further. Um, so um, that uh, uh, those trees were here and there were two turpentine trees here, uh, one kit tree, and of course the Mulgoba that's huge. And uh, that was it as far as mango trees. And this side was citrus and this, not even weeds would grow in some parts of this uh, the other side of the drive. Uh, you know, it was just so so sandy dry and, and dry sandy. and such. Well, and with so, irrigation, you fixed all that. Yeah, I irrigated to get this, the trees going. I planted three gallon trees and had them on, on drip. Drip, you know, sort of like a drip, very micro spray. All you need is a drip. Um, but then I just uh, haven't, uh, after they got established, I haven't watered them since. Well, they usually take care of themselves yeah. after they get established. Yeah. They usually find water, you know. Yeah, they have so. enough stored in them. They, they don't have to be watered all the time, too, and that kind of thing. So, so that, yeah. so a, a lot depends on your water cable. Mm -hmm. So for my area, 
I had irrigation set up, I might have remembered all the trees that I planted gets irrigation for the first three years and I've recently removed it so they don't need it anymore. But they they hit the water table anyways. For for his situation may be different, everybody's is different. So if your water table is like about four to six feet deep then well, my water There's table no my water table is like is like 12 12 feet but once it gets once the roots start getting close like they say they get like they get four feet it's moist down there and it's cool yes, it's cool so there's humid there's moisture enough for them to pick up even if it's not irrigated so i, I agree with chris uh, after like two three four years you don't need to mangoes can survive in florida without yeah, and they live off irrigation. very little water they don't need much water well, from people I've interviewed, they say that, especially for people with uh, backyard mangoes, and Chris is doing this here successfully. Now, Alex taught me, or uh, learned from his videos, that if you do water them at the right, at the wrong time or too much, it'll affect the flavor. But if you do water them at the right time, it'll help uh, get more food set and less food dropping. Well, that, I find that rainwater is the biggest thing for the mango. For flavor, uh -huh. it it affects it affects the flavor of uh, the sweetness. Well, I think any overwatering uh, affects the flavor, whether that, it's rainwater or. So the rainwater water. could be bad because the it's rain distilled. happens in the wrong time. It's distilled water. Plus, it's happening in the wrong time, and it penetrates a lot faster than regular mineral water. So it can be in like an abundance of water rushing into the system of the plant and and um, diluting the flavor of the fruit. That so, with guava. True. That is true. Guavas can, yeah, that is true. Alex, what do you think about the water situation? Anything you want to share? Oh, okay. Uh, well, we have um, at our farm a lot of old trees that were planted, you know, 50, 60, sometimes like close to 100 years ago. And uh, those trees don't receive any supplemental irrigation. Um, when the trees were planted, starting in 2014, the younger trees, we did put an irrigation system in. Um, Jack Sturrock uh, did most of that work himself. And um, we... Uh, we do irrigate those trees during the first six to eight weeks of fruit development, but otherwise the rest of the year, uh, the irrigation system is off. So um, the flavor and eating quality of the fruit is always a lot better if the trees aren't being irrigated during fruit maturity and if we're not receiving a lot of rainfall, which has happened some of the last couple of years, it's disaffected the flavor of some of the mangoes. Some of them it will wash it out. Uh, others, uh, especially Indian varieties, it will what I call sour them out. And of um, course, fruit split too. And it also causes and fruit splitting, which then means you can't sell the mango and it's just wastage. So, um, and that can happen if you're overwatering your tree directly or if it's happening from rain. So, uh, mangoes really don't need much water. Once they're established, they're very thrifty about finding it. They're pretty drought tolerant. They're growing them in deserts in different parts of the world. So, um, you don't need to think that you need a lot of water for them to. Uh, to have them uh, do well after they establish. <laughs> right. Yeah. Initially, yeah. That's you want to water make sure that you only, remember that part. only time you can supplement water would be right in the beginning when it starts flowering. Because in the early stages of fruit formation, where you have small fruit, other than that, you don't need you need to water at all. Even on an established tree, it's good to water at that time. Yes, you can because like some sometimes or this time, uh, it, it, it's not as rain. It's like starting to get dry. So if you have to water, you can water it around this time because you're going to prevent some of the fruits to drop. Uh, some of them gets dried up a little bit uh, because all the rain, what it does is it has a negative effect too. It makes the root stops growing because they're sitting in water. So all of a sudden in spring, when the water disappears, the rain stops, they're kind of in a dehydration mode. And that's when the flower is turning into fruits, little fruits. And that this couple of months or maybe one month may be the only time you might need to water a little bit. And I'm talking about mature trees. Young trees, you always have to water them. But other than this, like when you have decent sized fruits, you don't need to water it at all. That's going to start hurting it. So I'm kind of going by what Alex said. In the beginning, in the beginning, best thing to do is stick your finger in the dirt as deep as you can. And if it's wet, don't water it. And if a week goes by, I mean, check it as often as you can, but if a week goes by and it's, and it's still moist and it's still wet, it doesn't need water. You don't water on a schedule. You water as needed. And that's, the, that's, that's just in the beginning because if you overwater a young mango tree, all the roots are in one place, so the roots could rot really, really easy. So best thing to do, buy a moisture meter or use your natural moisture meter, which is your finger, and stick it in as deep as you can before you water your tree.
Yeah, I would I would agree with that 100%. Uh, especially everybody's situation is different. Some people add a lot of mulch and they can hold moisture. Some people don't add mulch, any mulch, and that's probably the recommended thing to do for mangoes to not mulch and they have a fast drainage and there is not much organic matter. So you have to really, like Julian said, you have to test your soil and see if it's dry before you water. In the and beginning. There is the general solution for watering. I know people want to hear a general solution. Everybody's soil is so different, they hold different moisture, so you should test your soil before you water or not water. In the pot or in the ground? All right, everybody, that was the, the, the solution or the answer to from the mango experts about watering mango trees. And I think they have a lot of wisdom and knowledge and experience growing mango trees, so I would listen to them. And, and I'm just as excited. I'm, I feel good that I have a well for those rare times when we might have a drought. I, I feel I'll be okay. Uh, but it's just wonderful to, to learn and explore and learn all about these mangoes. I'm going to put the links below to all of the people in the video that discussed that. And we've got more videos coming up with the Fruitful Five. And if you have a mango tree, do you water your mango tree? Sometimes never. Or when it's getting established. I've heard Chris say she sometimes she puts a tree in the ground and see if it survived and she doesn't regularly water it uh but it, it's good to water mango trees i'm about to put a mango tree in my other neighbor's yard and i don't have any water over there or even a hose that goes there so i'm going to go out there with like a gallon of water every day while it's getting established and throw some water on it until the rainy season comes and that's going to help and then if you are watering them how much are you going to water them so i'm just thrilled so mango season's coming here we go that's uh that tree's triple triple sec and here we have a, a dot mango. All the trees are looking wonderful here. So wonderful. Very exciting. Very exciting. So thanks for watching, everybody. Let me know what you think about watering mangoes and what you think about what the people on the show said, the Fruitful Five said about that. Until then, everybody, have a great day and keep growing. Mm -hmm.